Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today I am going to be giving my solution to the Arduino project challenge that I posed to you last week, and that was to create a device to measure someone's or yours reaction time using nothing but an LED and a switch. So all I asked you to do was make this LED light up at a random time, and then to measure the time between this LED lights up and the button push. So. Here's the breadboard circuit I've got laid out. Uh, I've got a resistor connecting pin 13 on the Arduino to the LED, and I'm using the switch connected to pin 8 on the Arduino using an internal pull-up, so I've also got the switch connected to ground. And that's really it. So when I push the button, it gets pulled to ground, and it measures the time. So if I plug this in, The LED lights up, push the button, and let's go look at what the serial monitor has to say, which was the other part of this project. Alright, so if I go ahead and push the reset button on the Arduino, wait for the LED to light up, push the button, and there it is. So this is the serial printout, your reaction time, 0 0.27 seconds. So here's how I accomplished that code. Or that's here's how I accomplish it. So void setup, void loop, and I just went ahead and put all of the code in the setup because it's not going to be looping. It's just going to run in the setup. So I started up the serial 9600 BPS, made pin mode thir pin 13 an output to light up the LED, and I made pin 8 an input, and I made pin 8 high, which because it's an input sets the pull up to be on. And I'm using a random number generator. In order to use a random number generator, I have to seed the random number generator with some value. So I'm millis reads the amount, the number of milliseconds since the code started. So I'm seeding it with that value, and that's going to deviate from uh, execution to execution. So, and then I say wait some random time between 1000 milliseconds and 3000 milliseconds so anywhere from one second to three seconds and after it's done waiting I turn the LED on I read the time, the start time how far into the program it is so that's if it's 300 milliseconds in at this point that gives me something to compare the end time to now because I've pulled pin 8 high if I read it, it's going to be high, so I'm going to wait until it goes low. I pulled it to ground. So while digital read 8, while it's still high, it hasn't been pressed. It's just going to keep cycling here. But when I do push it and it does get pulled to ground, it's going to print out the data. So serial.print your reaction time. I didn't say print ln. I'm separating the string from the numbers. So serial.print your reaction time. And then serial.print ln millis the current time minus the time you started so if it started at 300 milliseconds and it's now 500 milliseconds there was a 200 millisecond gap which was your reaction time and to put it in seconds I'm dividing it by 1000 now if I have to say divided by 1000.0 to make it a floating point otherwise if it's less than one it would just print zero so you gotta remember that point zero to make it floating point and that's really it this was the basic thing. Um, in my next Arduino tutorial I'm going to be talking about interrupts which you could use for this. Uh, so you'll see what I mean and how it could be applied here when I talk about interrupts. So if you've done something cool with this I'd love to see it and uh, if you've gone well beyond what I've asked you to do again love to see it. So this has been our first Arduino project challenge. I hope to do another one. So, this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.